Hello and welcome to the session on data science. My name is Hanina Soni, Assistant Professor in Information Technology at DTSS College. In this session, we are going to discuss about introduction of data science. Today, we will look at what is data science, what are the applications of data science, what does a data scientist do. Alright, so now get start. What is a data science? Data science is the process of using data to find solutions or to predict outcomes for a problem statement. That is, data science can be defined as the study of data to extract meaningful insights for business. It is a multidisciplinary approach that combines principles and practices from the field of mathematics, statistics and artificial intelligence to analyze large amount of data, which help us in finding out the hidden insights or patterns from the raw data. As the name suggests, data science is the process of collecting the data, analyze the data and make it use for predictions. For example, weather forecast and stock price market. We can make use of data science for prediction of weather and price in the stock market. Let us see what are the applications of data science in real life. In healthcare, data science can identify and predict disease and personalize healthcare recommendations. In transportation, data science can optimize shipping routes in real time. In e-commerce, data science can automate digital ad placement. In sports, data science can accurately evaluate athletes performance. In gaming, data science can improve online gaming experiences. In social media, data science can create algorithms to pinpoint compatible partners. In fintech, data science can help to create credit reports and financial profiles and to create predictive models based on historical payroll data. Now let us understand data science applications in detail. The first one is recommender system. A recommended system mainly deals with the likes and dislikes of the user. Its major objective is to recommend a product to a user which has high chance of liking based on its previous purchases. It is like having a personalized team who can understand our likes and dislikes and help us in making the decisions. For example, the amount a person spends on a monthly based on his previous transaction, the frequent items which are bought by the customers like bread, butter and jam are always bought together. So that the trends in the market can also be analyzed like the demand for umbrellas during the rainy season and demand for ice cream during the summer. The main objective here is to analyze the pattern present in the data set and obtain useful information based on target required. That is, from all these, what we can understand? A recommender system that gives the user recommendations as per their likes and dislikes. And user will come to know the information of frequently purchased product. For example, Netflix, Amazon Prime Video. It will give the user recommendations as per their likes and dislikes. Next is digital image processing. Digital image processing deals with manipulation of digital images through a digital computer. It is a subfield of signals and systems but focused particularly on images. In this figure, the image has been captured by a camera and has been sent to a digital system to remove all the other details and just focus on the water drop by zooming it in such a way that the quality of the image remains the same. That is, by using image processing, we can process an image so that it looks like a real image. At the same time, we can maintain the quality of an image. Next is speech recognition system. Speech recognition is a technology that converts spoken words into text. Speech recognition is a capability that enables the program to process human speech into written format. Best example is Google Assistant who can understand the voice of human being and get converted into a readable text. Next is price comparison website. 
price comparison is comparing the price of the same product in different outlets the goal of developing a price comparison website is to make purchasing easier for the customers users may rapidly evaluate choices and select most reasonable one by combining cost from numerous retailers this not only saves time and effort but also allows users to save money on their purchases in this picture you can see different price comparison websites which will give you detailed price of one product if you want to buy a mobile with help of this price comparison website we can compare the price of the mobile in different websites which become easier for the customers to purchase the mobile next is fraud detection fraud detection is the process of identifying suspicious activity that indicates criminal theft of money data and resources it is commonly performed by fraud detection software that monitors transactions applications apis and use behavior by using a fraud detection we can prevent and identify the fraudulent activities it is used in many industries including banking insurance and healthcare by using a fraud detection we can keep track of every single transaction done by the customers next let us understand the brands used in data science application in real life are netflix in entertainment amazon in e-commerce leading automotive companies like bmw and mercedes benz to enhance their businesses so friends what does a data scientist do data scientist examine which question need answering and where to find the related data they have analytical skills as well as the ability to mine and clean the present data business use data scientists manage and analyze large amount of unstructured data how to become a data scientist data scientists need to know how to code in high level languages like python and r and in low level languages like java c and c++ those who want to become a data scientist he should have the basic knowledge of all these programming languages let us understand what is python and r python is a popular programming language it is used for web development software development and system scripting where r is a popular programming language used for statistical computing and graphical presentation its most common use is to analyze and visualize data now let us see the importance of data science data science helps brand to understand their customers in a much enhanced and empowered manner it allows brands to communicate their story in such an engaging and powerful manner its findings and results can be applied to almost any sectors like education travel and healthcare in the next session we will discuss about the data analytic life cycle thank you